Hello. I have come here this dawn in accordance with the cherished customs of our uh, fathers uh, to address certain particular issues. Uh, recently, it came to my notice about the divination. I mean, I'm talking of the bibliomancy, the divination using the holy books. And I wish to address this issue. There are many forms of divination. They are the runes, they are the Uji board, and other forms of divination, like the tarot cards, the, uh, the pendulum, which is normally my, um, my speciality. And uh, with these forms of divination, the, I, uh, a, a gentleman was asserting that even wood can be used in uh, divining. Yes, I won't dispute it. But the truth of the matter is that before you downplay any form of divination, you need to have carried forth a special uh, research on why divination they work. Before you draw to a, such a conclusion, in order not to exhibit ignorance, divination is very workable. Otherwise, Aaron and Moses could not have carried the Tomim and Urim in their breastplate. These two tools of divination were being casted or is casted and, and read. And it was based on this that these two holy prophets became a guidance or they were guiding the Israelites. So they carried these two. It's just like carrying a pendulum or a divination rod. So this was how uh, they used it. I am now here to explain why these tools, they work. In fact, the reality of it is that our minds are divided into three parts. I'm talking of the conscious, the subconscious, and the superconscious. But for this particular uh, explanation, I will base my explanation on the subconscious and the superconscious. The subconscious acts like a repository, and it is, it is. Uh, having a repository or a, a, a storeroom or the brain bank of man, anything that has gone on in this incarnation and the previous ones have been recorded in our subconscious mind. The superconscious mind is like the, the divine within us. And because the superconscious mind is like divine within us, if we are able to go into the alpha beta state, then we will be able to connect to the subconscious mind, who is have is a repository of all knowledge, and thereby connecting with the, the superconscious mind, which is the, the divine within us. And divine is all knowing. So in any situation, whether you are using bibliomancy or you are using the divine rod, and when I talk about the bibliomancy, the key and the Bible, what happens is that it is the superconscious mind that controls the subconscious mind. So if we desire any answers, the superconscious mind he knows it already. So when we go into the alpha beta state they will be able to pick any information, those that are yet to happen, and those that have happened, and those that previously happened. I'm talking of the present past and the future. Yes, it's possible to connect with it. These only uh, divination tools become like eight. Apart from that, 
there are people who can connect directly to the supercomputer without this aid. It's this one tools only help us to be able to connect with divine. So the Bible, as we talk of, can be used for divination. The, the dictionary could be used for divination. The Quran, the Holy Quran, could be used for divination. And the Bahava guitar could be used to do the same thing and get good results. So if you say you are using board and getting results, it's only acting like a tool. That doesn't mean that the Bible, the other holy books do not work. Because you need to have research on below man see and you realize that they are workable tools. If you want, we can prove to you by giving concrete uh, predictions of things that will have to happen by using the Bible. Once we are able to connect with the Alpha Beta state, if you are not able to do that, then the possibility that you will be able to get good answers or reliable answers, which are almost 99% correct, will not hold. Uh, I suppose that I have brought light into this issue. Uh, uh, just like I usually say, Shalom, 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 Barush, Hashem, stay blessed.